so hello everyone uh, today we discuss about the modern concept okay modern interpretation for a covalent bond so already we know the total details about the covalent bond formation but uh, the covalent bond uh, explains means a uh, normal covalent bond we know that uh, which was introduced by lewis okay we know that uh, Co normal covalent bond introduced by Lewis, in which he defined that uh, the bond formed between two atoms just by sharing their valency electrons. Well, that is called the Lewis concept. So, today we will discuss the discussion of covalent molecules formation, a sharing of electrons, octet, octet, is codon. So, that is totally based on Lewis concept. So. Lewis concept is based on octet rule. Same, we know that ionic bond. So ionic bond in means transfer of electrons. That is total losing of electrons, total gaining of electrons to get the octet. Formation of cations and formation of anions. So that is also basic thing is uh, octet rule. So octet configuration goes some uh, uh, some atoms loses their ions, some atoms gains uh, sorry. Some atoms loses their electrons. Some atoms uh, gains the electrons to uh, and forming cations, anions. Finally, their target is uh, to get the octet configuration and due to their electrostatic attraction, ionic bond forms. So, are the octet rule basis one only. Next, covalent bond that was given by Cosell. Next, Lewis. If you transfer of electron gaining losing the kapuna, octet configuration gain is kodanki. Louis given a new concept that is formation of covalent bond. So according to Louis concept, we know that uh, sharing of electrons, sharing of electrons. If uh, there is no possibility to lose the electrons and to gain the electrons to get octet, another possibility given by Louis that is sharing of required number of electrons, sharing of required number of electrons. With other atoms forming a covalent bond. At the end of the discussion, the covalent bond is the end of the one electron, two electron, three electron, three electron, four electron. So it totally depends on octet configuration. Then configuration based is correct. Means uh, general Gandhi, I am maximum atoms according to the Lewis concept. Uh, all atoms try to get 8 electrons in their valency by sharing their electrons. So, if they don't have valence electrons, share any electrons, share this, they will get the octet configuration. So, all number of uh, electrons is shared this. So, it is a, means Lewis theory, Lewis concept uh, for covalent bond formation is sharing of electrons. Again, which is based on octet rule. Okay. So, but uh, what are the drawbacks? Okay, this Lewis concept, nothing but octet rule concept. Uh, follow the okay, it is a uh, perfect, but uh, even there is uh, some mistakes are there, even there are some limitations are there. Okay, so then, uh, so what are the limitations that is treated as drawbacks? Nothing but uh, limitations, limitations means uh, the points which are not covered in the concept. The points which are not covered in the concept is called limitations. So we are writing the limitations of uh, Lewis. Lewis concept is treated as octet rule concept. Okay. Lewis or octet rule concept for covalent bond. Okay, so to do covalent bond explanation, no, the main point is uh, Lewis, covalent bond introduced in the Lewis. But, uh, so which is based on octet rule. So, octet uh, the configuration basis, Lewis given uh, his concept. So, but Lewis concept follow the what are the drawbacks. Okay, okay, Kodi points uh, we are unable to explain with the help of uh, this Lewis covalent bond concept. Okay, so what is that is a, what is the main cause? What is the main cause for? It does not explain the
it does not explain the cause of formation of coal and bone the cause of coal and bone formation so general now what we discussed is uh, to get the octet configuration they involve in the coal and bone formation but uh, sometimes it is uh, not uh, considered correctly and the next one it does not explains the it does not explain the shape okay we never discussed the shape in this chapter so ipudu varaku maniki covalent bond discussion lo uh, there is a, no details about the shape only electrons arrangement to sangane uh, shape of the molecule to the shape and geometry some difference is the shape is geometry ki koncham difference untadi it does not explain the shape and geometry of molecules okay next it does not explains it does not explains the stability of some molecules it does not explain the stability of some molecules so just write the molecules molecules which do not follows which do not follows octet rule so we know some molecules we know some molecules uh, uh, so what are that molecules we discussed about that molecules uh, we discussed that molecules in the deviation nothing but uh, <coughs> limitations of octet rule discussion some molecule in some molecules the central atom do not possess eight electrons in some molecules central atom do not possess eight electrons but it forms covalent bonds and it is stable okay so if it, be, it uh, depends totally octet the main cause is only to get the octet but there is some molecules are there which do not follow the octet configuration and they are maintaining the stability how it is possible okay so we we know that the examples okay what are that examples can you guess that examples bcl3 electron deficient are there okay next bf3 next uh, pcl5 having more than octet possibly having 10 electrons around it even sf6 so they do not follows the octet octet kante takku unde konne octet kante ekku unde but they are maintaining stability okay next one more important thing it does not explains that uh, it's important point that uh, So it is also one of the uh, important points that uh, it does not explains the difference in the amount of difference in the amount of energy. energy released during the formation during the formation of some molecules during the formation of different molecules it is also very important but so in this uh, lewis concept of covalent bond does not explains the different 
in the amount of energy released in the amount of energy released during the formation of different molecules okay all we know generally the formation of molecules from atoms so atoms molecule lago form hote compulsory it is a, it must be exothermic reactions okay exothermic reaction and the atoms when combined together forming a molecule they lose some energy so finally uh, the energy of isolated atoms energy of isolated atoms compared to the molecule energy is less sorry the molecule energy is higher less compared to the isolated atoms okay and the atoms contain molecules energy is less so molecules energy less ka but generally molecules are more stable than atoms just listen carefully the atoms are have possess more energy compared to the molecules okay so for example it is hydrogen atom hydrogen atom are combining uh, forming an a covalent bond between uh, that there is formation of h2 molecules for example it is having x joules of energy it is also having x joules of energy so what we expect uh, the energy of uh, h3 is 2x joules okay this we are taking a general value x joules is kunda maybe x joules is kunda we expect you don't do covalent bond form this kunte so it a h2 energy ento undali 2x but it is observed that always it is less than 2x okay not only this in the any molecule formation from its atoms so then atoms a molecule then atoms which form and for example n plus n becomes o2 o plus o becomes o2 okay so it now form a molecules for the main that atoms actually atoms energy into the two hydrogen atoms energy to x on that but h2 molecules energy is always less than 2x okay means so what happened during the formation of a covalent bond a covalent bond round atoms so much of form a or then molecule form in a plane that it releases some energy so energy release i to the day so finally it is having less energy because the energy uh, release i pain out because the energy is uh, removed out means uh, its original energy becomes somewhat less original energy becomes less means stability increases that's why we say sir uh, molecular form is uh, more stable compared to the isolated and means separated atoms that's why atoms always wants to be in the form of molecular form okay means uh, for example hydrogen is having uh, for example 10 10 20 so if you take nitrogen like n plus n n2 so that lo chip din lo h2 form ayinappudu uh, release ayi energy okay during the formation energy release during the formation of uh, that mol different molecules but h2 form ayinappudu oka lanta energy vastadi some amount of us, o2 form ayinappudu n2 form ayinappudu cl2 form ayinappudu ipudu hk h2 one bond form ayindi same cl plus cl cl2 form ayin anukuna so ikkada kuda energy release avutadi but ikkada uh, ikkada release ayina energy ikkada release ayina energy they are totally different means uh, different different molecules so different amounts of energy vastadi if anitlo sharing of electrons anitlo octet rule is the base all must possess all must release same amount of energy so anitlo same amount of energy release avali but it is not appears okay but uh, it is uh, different in different molecule different molecules form you know, different amount of energy release avutadi so why different uh, energy is released during the formation of different molecules so these are the main drawbacks or limitations or the points which are not covered which are not explained in the lewis concept for the formation of covalent bond okay next uh, to overcome uh, to overcome some of these problems okay <coughs> to overcome these problems uh, there is a new concept is given by different scientists to explain the covalent bond formation okay so on the sharing of electrons but there is some they given some new terms okay they given some new new formation for covalent bond they are given some new rules from for covalent bond formation okay they are comes under more than concept of covalent bond in that uh, there is uh, two concepts are there 
that is val first one is valency bond theory okay valency bond theory which is known as vbt valency bond theory so the next theory is a molecular orbital theory it is known as mot anthem okay molecular orbital theory so the two theories are or explains the covalent bond in terms of a different concept if lewis concept mana em chestha only sharing of electrons to ne only sharing of electrons to ne covalent bond form ayindi akkada vere factor same levu okay so octet configuration techukodaniki uh, sharing of electrons avuthe that is the covalent bond formation according to lewis but it is having some drawbacks idi ee rule follow avuthe ide concept follow avuthe we are unable to explain some points to overcome that points in other scientists given new concept new uh, rule new rules for the formation of covalent bond so now today we discuss about uh, valency bond theory okay it's a very important theory which explains the covalent bond in a different way now let's see the first concept that is a <coughs> valency bond theory Okay, valency bond theory. So this theory was uh, at first it was proposed by. So first, uh, simply we see the scientist name, then we discuss it. So main. Uh, it was proposed by Heichler and Langen. Heichler, okay. and london okay scientist name london then it was developed by so these are the important names developed by pauling pauling and slater it is also known as pauling and slater concept also okay so pauling and slater so proposed by heichler and london developed by pauling and slater so now we see the main points in the formation of a ionic bond so according to this theory the formation of ionic bond involves according to this concept the formation of covalent bond takes place not only by sharing of electrons okay so generally man sharing of electrons ate so bond form ayipoddu ani cheptam lewis concept ippudu daaka adhe discuss chestam man inni days but taken to this concept in that uh, for the formation of a covalent bond the sharing of electrons is not required not only sharing of electrons it also requires overlapping of the atomic orbitals which contain that electrons it requires overlapping overlapping means uh, just touch over okay overlapping okay overlapping of uh, that atomic orbitals which contains that electrons so if there only electron share cheskunte saripothadi but ee theory prakaram endante share cheskunte electrons they present in atomic orbitals uh, atomic orbitals kude evali overlap avali overlapping this touching okay the overlap avali okay that overlapping is a, a new concept in it means according to this theory a covalent bond formed so we can write a sentence that uh, a covalent bond is formed by overlapping of uh, by overlapping of atomic orbitals
of valency shell of two atoms. Of the two atom here, so the new which contain uh, that electrons. Okay, we see that here the new concept is overlapping. So, for example, put a hydrogen one s one. This hydrogen one s one. Okay, by the example separate you to them, but uh, for to explain this point, I am taking this example now. So, now man, man, I mean, some hydrogen donates shares one electron. This hydrogen shares one electron, donates one electron. So they are uh, shared by both atoms. The one electron donated by one hydrogen, other electron donated by other hydrogen. A contributed electron, one to share this could take that up. But E theory related, if you have this circle, you have two electrons, you have two electrons. So I can do this theory in the day, I electron on orbitals. And they, for example, this is S orbital of a hydrogen. S orbital of hydrogen, which is having this one electron. Next, this is S orbital of another hydrogen, having one electron. So, a two shape may be similar, right? Okay. It must be small. So, it like S orbital touch out on event, but it is called overlapping. Okay. Just touch out. Okay. Size touch out on it, overlapping and merging and simply merging. So, and just sharing of electrons, sharing of electrons takes place and there is electrons in the atomic orbitals, but the electron is only one is clone, is one is. So, it is one is. In the one is orbital, one is orbital, electrons only are in the sense that they overlap. That overlapping makes the formation of a covalent bond. So, this uh, line indicates that a covalent bond is formed by overlapping of atomic orbitals of valency shell of the two atoms and a two atoms is the bond of form of bond form chase continue then clone a valency shell same with the valency shell loan atomic orbitals overlap out then only there is a formation of atom covalent bond okay so there is the next thing is about uh, electrons okay I think now overlap I atomic orbitals must contain electrons. Okay. Gender covalent one form of the dental electrons on that group. One is low, one is low, one electron only. So you want next thing co hydrogen, one is low, one electron only. The. And they, they must contain unpaid electron. The inflow can paid for example one is two only it is not possible. So the inflow one is one, the inflow of a single electron only, the inflow of a single hydrogen is conte. Okay. This is one single electron into one single electron. So, around the atomic orbitals uh, sharing IP. Sharing is the overlapping of orbitals. And at the point overlap, we written the symbol like this of two electrons. Means uh, bond for normal or the spin learn before the sharing. So, sharing is the point one is having plus of spin, second is having minus of spin. And both okay, minus of plus of minus of plus of minus of doesn't matter, but uh, the two electrons must possess opposite spins. Okay, opposite spin on a plane, but a bond form on according to this theory. Okay, the atomic orbitals. Having unpaid electrons, having unpaid electrons only undergoes a Overlapping Okay, the atomic orbitals having unpaid electrons, okay, unpaid electrons only undergoes 
overlapping fur bond formation okay so in this overlapping of two orbitals for electron normally two orbitals and electrons must be have different spins and uh, the electrons of that uh, overlapped orbitals of two atoms and the electrons of that overlapped orbitals of two atoms must possess must possess opposite spin this is important one okay just now we said okay plus half and okay minus half and that okay so means uh, simply see the Pauling slater introduced this one sorry Pauling slater developed this one so it will end at the first uh, sharing of electrons say carbon the sharing of electrons say carbon the so electrons and atomic orbitals could overlap avali. so overlap avali and take that low minimum of unpaid electron and that okay and double of double electrons go on unpaid electron single electron and that okay and overlap in the water so bond forming of the demo to the that uh, orbitals okay that orbitals which are overlapped that electrons must be possess opposite spin opposite spin to and that okay Okay, next uh, see is an important point. So the atoms with the uh, half filled atomic orbitals. So atomic orbitals here atomic orbitals means uh, it's a simple box. Okay, p orbital not like that. P x orbital, p v orbital, p z orbital. Then we orbital and them. Okay, just p chapter that is becomes a subshell. So just p subshell. Okay, let's say the one box under the cover takes s orbital and two s subshell and two. P low. Three orbitals are D low, five orbitals are present. Uh, F low, seven orbitals are present. Okay, our individual atomic orbital. Half filled means uh, as a one atomic orbital, so there is a two electrons participate. So, one in the unpaid electrons. So, unpaid electrons are one electron. One electron, nothing but it is a half filled one. So, if it half filled and unpaid, and that becomes equal. So, the atoms with half filled atomic orbitals must come closer to one another in proper direction okay for overlapping so over bond form over the overlapping over so overlap over the angle they must come close in particular direction a direction or direction over overlap over possible work that means in a specific direction okay power of a proper of a perfect direction loss the name so bond form of them means the direction of the bond is nothing but the direction of overlapping okay the direction of the bond here we can write this sentence that the direction of the bond is is equal to the is nothing but the, is the direction of <coughs> is the direction of overlapping okay so overlapping get a direction no one form the next one so the overlapped orbitals for example you can have them again my s orbital hydrogen example this could be s orbital s orbital it are electrons my uh, e part for the overlap in the okay yes loan e part yes loan a e part overlap i can be okay i think these electrons these electrons are are under the attraction of a hydrogen is actually hydrogen not less orbital is a hydrogen not less orbitals okay for example a positive cis now now this electron so a part name on the bond in a part name on the one day that is called electron cloud okay uh, the bonded electrons only the remaining electrons cargo 
सो बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन ई ओवरलाप पार्ट एलक्ट्रॉन्स एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड ओके बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड अंडर द अट्राशन आफ टू पॉजिट चारजेस पॉजिट चारज इंफ्लूंस टू एलक्ट्रॉन पैन उठाई सैकंड ऐटम लूक्स अट्राशन एलक्ट्रॉन पैन उ ओके मीन दट एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड नथिंग बट दौंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन चार्ड अंडर द अट्राशन आफ बोथ न्यूक्लियर्स ओके द एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड नथिंग बट एलक्ट्रॉन डेन्सी ओके द एलक्ट्रॉन डेन्सी ओके सो हियर सो द एलक्ट्रॉन क्लौड एलक्ट्रॉन डेन्सीटी अंत बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन ओके ओवरलापन वाट्रॉन्स उ कपोजिट स्पिन एलक्ट्रॉन दट एलक्ट्रॉन बिटवी द टू ऐटम्स आर् अंडर द इंफ्लूंस आर् अंडर द अट्राशन आफ अंडर द अट्राशन आफ टू न्यूक्स ओके दिन ऐटम न्यूक्स दीवे बॉंड फॉर्म चुस्को आ रोड ऐटम न्यूक्स मध्य ओके सो विच टाइप आफ् अट्राशन इज इंपारटेंट दिट का इंटर एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक अट्राशन सो हियर एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक अट्राशन मन के आयनिक बॉंड डेफिनेशन वस्तु ऐक्चुअल एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक अट्राशन अटे प्लस मैनस अट्राशन प्लस मैनस अट्राशन एक्ना दे कैन बी ट्रीटेड ऐस एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक अट्राशन इक मन की बॉंडेड बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन अंत दे आर नैगट् चार बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन अटे नैगट् चार सो न्यूक्स पवर्स अटे दे आर् पाजिट चार मीन दट बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन द बॉंडेड एलक्ट्रॉन बिटवी द टू ऐटम्स आर् अंडर द इंफ्लूंस आफ न्यूक्स न्यूक् पाजिट चार एलक्ट्रॉन डेन्सी अंत नैगट् चार सो दट वै दट इंट्राशन इज काल कंपेर्ड वित् एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक अट्राशन ओके so here again very important concept in this valency bond theory is strength of covalent bond so already uh, in the limitations of uh, lewis concept lo we discussed that uh, so all bonds in all in the formation of all molecules the releasing of energy is different okay the releasing of energy during the formation of different molecules is different and different molecules form in a different amount of energy ostadi mana discuss chestam h2 form in a put n2 o2 e form in a put in a different different energy release ayindi so just sharing of electron concept ayithe anni sharing of electron chestune kabatti anni itlo same amount of energy release avali but uh, they are releasing different amount of energies so a energy name antam ante it's called bond energy and a bond form in a put in the energy release ayindo that is called the bond energy the amount of energy released when a, a type of covalent bond is formed per mole at a general oka fixed number undalu kabatti man oka mole calculate chestam oka mole bond oka mole atoms madhyalo bond form ayinappudu that energy release is called the it's called bond energy okay so bond energy all are having different bond energies why means it depends on the strength of the covalent bond depends on overlap and ipudu इक मेन पाइंट ओनली षेरिंग आफ् एलक्ट्रॉन अक मन का डाउट वस्तु बिकाज हेच टू फाम आना षे आफ् एलक्ट्रॉन सीएल टू फाम आना षे एन टू ओ टू बीआर टू ई टू ए फाम आना षे आफ् एलक्ट्रॉन सो ओन षे आफ् एलक्ट्रॉन अभी षे आफ् एलक्ट्रॉन का बट्टी अभी मालिक्यूल सेम मोडल्ल फाम अ सो आलमोस्ट पोसे सेम एनर्जी बट ओवरलापिंग का स्ट्रे आफ द बॉंड डिपेंड्स आ द एक्सटेट एक्सटे सैज आफ ओवरलापिंग बिकाज ओवरलाप ओवरलाप अवच्छू पूर्ति ओवरलाप अवच्छू फिफ्टी पर्सेंट ओवरलाप अवच्छ अटे आल आर् हाविंग डिफरेंट बॉंड एनर्जी एंक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बॉंड्स की सेम एनर्जी उसे बिकाज देर इज डिफर इन द ओवरलापिंग मे बी हेच टू एन टू ओ टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फाम अगर डिफरेंट ओवरलाप उ सो ओवरलाप डिफर का दर एनर्जी डिफरें मीन सिंपली वी कैन कंक्लूड दट The strength of the covalent bond is directly proportional to. Okay, just write as relation. 
strength of covalent bond directly proportional to the extent of extent of overlapping of orbitals okay extent of overlapping of orbital write it as a general formula so the strength of covalent bond directly proportional to extent of overlapping if overlapping ekku unte bond strong untu overlap konchu normal ga unte so bond will be less energy okay means uh, some bonds are having uh, different molecules are having different type of bond energies because they are having different uh, extent of overlapping okay so here we give a definition that is about the uh, bond energies so here we can say the amount of energy released is called a bond energy of that molecule so the amount of energy released per mole during the formation the formation means ikkada overlap ayithe ga form ayyadi during the overlapping is called bond energy okay so this is about the strength of the covalent bond so manam ippudu daka so discuss in chesin dantlo uh, what are the comparison okay just konni points of the compare cheyadam so ikkada sharing of electrons tho paatu overlapping ane new concept vachindi next a uh, overlap ayedi overlap ayi direction ante direction of the bond gunchi explain chestadu ikkada ane manaki normal covalent theory lo general covalent theory lo there is no points about the direction kapothe it is treated as a directional bond ikkada sharing of electrons a direction lo unte a direction lo bond ikkada endante overlapping a direction lo unte a direction lo bond avutadi and they must cross possess a proper direction next the electrons also must have opposite spin opposite spin unna uh, electrons man overlapping lo participate avutayi okay next the strength of the bond so any bond same energy is under clue why so why means uh, they are different the extent of overlap overlapping lo difference undi kabatti they are showing different strength different energies untunde so next uh, so very important one there is a types of covalent bonds so types of covalent bonds okay tomorrow tomorrow we see the topic okay